Away we go with the women's bronze medal final here in Cape Town at the Elite 16 event on the Volleyball World Beach Pro Tour. And in the yellow, it's the number one seeds, the world champions from Brazil. I know that Duda will be right beside her and they can win this match, but if the French really start to target her like they have started out and they can get a couple of digs, well, it could be a long day. This is good work on Anna Patricia. Again, Richard decides to stay in this time, though. Anna Patricia works the block. Again, Duda all over it. And just about manages to slide that away off a better set from Anna Patricia. But minus those errors, France will be in business here and they've got a chance to go level. That's not great. But that's a very aggressive hit from Richard. Taken, keeping it low just to make the attack. Duda just slides a short one over the net. And that took Richard's runway away from her, but she still pounded that into the corner. Opens up the angle for her because Duda has to just wait. Just couldn't even make a move towards it. We've had a change of sides to see if there's a change of fortune, and that's a flowing spike from Duda. Which is never a good injury when you're a spiker. She jumps, serves, she blocks, she runs to the net. She's doing a lot of work for her team. Even more work there. Well, that was a lot of energy expended to go for a ball. There's, there's a player down there, Duda, that would have assessed that within seconds and not bothered to move. I just feel like Brazil are waiting to just put the accelerator down. Placet and Richard, two cracking wins over Caro and Lobato of Spain. And then that 2-1 quarter-final victory over Ishii and Mizoi of Japan. So that underlines the kind of form they're in. But this is this is a big demand up against them. Incredible match at the end. It was almost Japan that would have been here today. There we go. There's the Ludwig unveiled for the first time today by Duda. And it, it was lovely to see Lara Ludwig back in action here in Cape Town. The, the dude wig. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. He's been touched. It's got to come. And boy, that's a great hit. And a Patricia straight down the middle of the court. So Richard hits the serve, then has to sprint to the net. Well, that might have been going long. And that's good effort by France to keep it in play, but I think that was a ball they could have let go. Everything else is going really well for the French team. So line block. But Anna Patricia can't quite get high enough on that one. Good serve. Nice recovery and an easy rundown for Placet. Well watched. But still can't get it past the mighty block of Anna Patricia. It's the hands. Again, good touch. Great pass onto the net. An easy little dart pokey down to the sand. Such a depth of, of other athletes that they can play against in their own country. Yeah, good work off the block. They could all <laughs> play in the Olympic Games and we're about four weeks out from the event. Good swing, wrong hand, unfortunately, in the end from the defensive play of Placet. Locking puts more pressure on you. There we go again. This time the dude wig not successful. And she tries it again, but this time into the net. So France do manage to pick up a point and a good scrap for that one. Yes, what a <laughs> shot. Oh, my goodness me. Yeah, looking for a third bronze medal of this season after their winning start and the World Championship victory. It's been a pretty good opening season for this duo. And another heavy hit onto the baseline means 21-15. They're getting the digs as well. They stick with that service pressure on Anna Patricia. I think that is a, a good ploy, and I like the break. Single finger, so line block here which means Duda sits in the pocket or the break. And the break is good, but the shot is even better. Ivana Patricia, who was coming back off the net there. And it's really good kick. You can see that retreating blocker. Switch up to Duda. 
who bumps it straight on the tape and our first option ball for a while hit very well by Anna Patricia. Patricia, and one thing I'm not sure if we've mentioned, she's six foot four. She stands at six foot four, which is 194 centimetres and she sides out most of the plays. Anna Patricia definitely is one of the most exciting players in the Brazilian squad. And she has the shots. That scary little stat in at the start about her height. And it, it is a height driven sport. You can't get away from that. But on the player and being mobile enough and skillful enough. There's the other side of the equation. And there we go. Straight over and on the line. Second over on one from Duda. It's not about you. It's about you and your child or more than one child in, in some of these athletes cases. Talita as well, who we will see in the gold medal match. She's also a mother sensation to hold on to some of your ranking points which is a great idea well a little bit of turmoil for France there as Brazil popped that away oh that's a powerful hit what a shot I feel like Brazil is vulnerable at the moment and a few more plays like that just to build the comp Nicely done. Good angles. France getting a bit of a side out rhythm going here. Really early for a partner. Again, they go to Duda. Break is good, but that's a reminder of what she can do. That was ferocious. Got to get there first, though. Placet and Richard of France determined to stop that. But, well, it's another really solid hit, but the spike that she hit just uh, a little earlier. Just silly errors. Don't normally see those. Basics are still working just fine though. Great handset, lovely line over. Breeze not really interfering with the flight of the ball, so players going about their work. And it's just a good skills contest, and that is one hell of a hit. I'm sure it's not really meant at the French team. It's more her frustrations coming out. Good option, but straight into the block. Referee says it touched the hands. Again, Duda goes over on one. Oh, wow. Massive block. A monster block from Anna Patricia. Stayed there. She didn't even turn around to Duda. So, uh, yeah. In the Brazilian camp. Understandable after their semi-final loss yesterday. That's a cracking dig. France have got to go again. And they do very well. So she's fired up. Still got to find three points, though, on their own serve before Brazil get to 21. Oh, that's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. And that is a product of the hours and hours of training Brazil put in. Getting a free ball. It was a good touch. And then it's just like, what? Cheeky from Brazil tight good dig again out of the pocket and straight onto the net tape for Anna Patricia that's unbelievable in the wrong yeah good swing but the job just got tougher for France and there's a there's a few afters there's a little bit of conversation going on between these two teams at the moment you don't want to poke the beast surely France giving it a go though, and I like to see this. Lovely look from Duda and a great chase down. France for the point. Can't take it. And a Patricia to go. Free net. You don't want to give her a free net when the ball's on the tape. Things aren't going so well. You're actually playing against the team on the other side. Nice easy side out. This is Tough ask here. Yeah, this is a table mountain to climb, I'm afraid, for the French pair. And it just got a whole lot trickier. And 2015, it's five bronze medal points for the world champions. And a Patricia to serve then. Can France hang in this final a little longer? The answer is no. It's out and it's bronze medal to Anna Patricia and Duda, their third, third place of the season on the Volleyball World Beach Pro Tour. They've beaten France by two sets to nil.